Hey, what's going on guys? It's Jamie G back here again. Thank you very much for joining me in today's video. One of the questions I keep getting asked is, how do you produce all these images and all these infographics and all this cool stuff to put on social media? Well, actually I'm lying. I've never been asked that before, but what I'm gonna show you guys today is how to use one of my favorite online tools called Canva.com. Now, if you haven't experienced it, you probably don't really need that much of an introduction to it, but there's a couple of things that I love using it for that uh, I think will really help in terms of your social media. So without further ado, I'm gonna jump on my computer and uh, let's get into it. See you on the inside. Thanks very much for joining me. If you are new to my channel, my name is Jamie G. I cover internet marketing, affiliate marketing, how to get started online, and all things digital. So if that's of interest to yourself, I'd love to have you guys join me. Feel free to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to stay up to date with everything I'm going to be putting out. Like I say, what I'm covering today is Canva.com. Now, this is a pretty massive site, and chances are there's a whole bunch of you guys that are watching this that have already seen Canva in action but it is something that I absolutely love. I use it pretty much every day for my social media and uh, I guess just creating little um, things like thumbnails and Facebook posts and ads and all sorts of stuff. So basically, if you just jump onto Canva, I don't have an affiliate program or anything like that, so it's not, uh, not an affiliate link there, but um, even the outside's cool. Look at that, you chase around the blue stuff. How cool is that? How cool is that? Anyway, um, so basically you just need to sign up real straightforward. If you prefer to sign up with your email, you can do. And what I'm going to do is just going to log in and I will see you guys on the inside. All righty. So we're just on the inside of Canva. So you can actually get started for free and you can do a whole bunch of stuff without having to pay for anything whatsoever. If you do choose to upgrade, you can invite team members and have, say, a, a virtual assistant work on your account on your behalf. But the reason why I suggest using Canva is that I think if you get a couple of designs under your belt, you'll find that it's actually pretty straightforward. And instead of you jumping onto like Fiverr or something like that in order to buy your thumbnails or your Facebook covers or your YouTube covers, your Twitter uh, covers, all that sort of stuff, you can actually just do it here. In fact, you might even be able to create a gig by purely just going onto Fiverr, creating a, a gig to create a nice Facebook cover, come back in here, get it done nice and easy. Uh, like I say, of course, there is that upgrade option. And uh, as you can see, I kind of use this uh, on a pretty regular basis. These are all my uh, YouTube thumbnails. I've got uh, Facebook covers. I've got group covers. And uh, obviously, obviously, that's my goofy ass face there, plus a, a few different things I've been trying over the years. <laughs> yes, yeah, so quite a little bit, a lot of it. Now, one of my very good friends informed me that uh, my branding was very inconsistent before. So I've gone to this orange color here. And uh, as you can see, I've kind of had a green and a bit of a goofy look on my face off of the other one. So I'm very slowly going through all my former thumbnails and revamping them in this new format just to make sure it aligns with basically everything that I am putting out, which is that. Hopefully everything will look nice and schmick like that. So anyway, what do we do? So you can create a brand kit. So this is actually uh, an account set up for my agency, Leadco Solutions. So I've got all my branding colors, my fonts, all that sort of stuff there. But if you're brand new to this, you wouldn't have any of that. And there's probably no need for you to do that unless you're doing this on scale. Uh, like I say, that one of the benefits is that you can invite virtual assistants to come and work on the account on your behalf nice and easy it means that you can kind of outsource all your own design work as well which is really cool and do it for a lot cheaper than you would if you were jumping straight onto say fiverr for example but uh, like i say you can actually create anything so um even if i have a look over here um create presentations facebook posts posters instagram posts logos flyers cards brochures gift vouchers infographics book covers, planners, business cards, blah, 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 blah. You name it, you've pretty much got it here. It's really, really cool. So, um, you know, no, no shortage of choice there if you are looking at creating something. So uh, what I'm going to do just to, uh, I guess, take you through a bit of a um, bit of a, a brainstorm is how you can actually use this in your business. I'm going to create a little infographic as we speak. Kind of cool, huh? So infographics, why are these cool? Well, tell you what, you might have heard of this little social media network. It's called Pinterest. Um, and what you may not know is that it's over 200 million users on Pinterest. And there's the potential there because it's still 
in my opinion, very much untapped as a, a traffic resource. So if you can create engaging content that is likely to get shared or pinned or hearted, or whatever, um, then you're going to get traffic back to your site. It's as simple as that. So one of the techniques that I've uh, encountered and I actually do it myself is purely just linking to Amazon products via Pinterest. So you find an Amazon product, you obviously join the Amazon Associates program. And in doing so, if someone likes that, they will click through to Amazon. Hopefully they buy some stuff. You get paid nice and easy. Now, of course, you do need to continue doing that. You need to post regularly. You need to try and get your um, posts into some of the larger groups, things like that. But anyway, I digress. Just going to jump over to the design portal. And it can be really, really basic. So there's a whole bunch of free apps, uh, sorry, free templates that have already been created for you as well. So you can imagine that if you are going through this process and you're wanting to create one, you don't, you, I mean, you can, of course, start from scratch and make sure it aligns with your branding colors, all that sort of stuff. But if you don't want to go down that path, look at all these templates just here. So for <laughs> sharks count, uh, right, I thought as in they can count. But I thought sharks don't have fingers, so it must be quite hard for them to count. Anyway, uh, yeah, never mind me. So what I'm going to do is just have a look at this one here. I just like the uh, the color scheme. So, I mean, you quite literally could just go quite as simple as that and then just edit some of these details here. So let's play. Uh, and to edit it, all you need to do is double click. Let's play. And I'm just going to go play hyphen gaming infographic. I'm going to get rid of that doesn't like me all of a sudden. <laughs> now, here's the cool thing. See, uh, I think and for me, with a lot of the other things I've used, if I happen to accidentally move something like that, I start freaking out because I think, oh, no, how am I going to get it back to the middle? Oh, no, what have I done? Check this out. Look at those little lines. So all you need to do is just glide it across. It will automatically tell you where to align it with the center there. Nice and easy, huh? Anyway, what am I doing here? I'm going to get rid of that for a second because it's clogging things up. Infographic, I'm just going to get rid of that. Cool stuff. And so you can edit it as easy as that. Where'd my little thingy go? It's over here somewhere, wasn't it? Oops, might need to get that back. All right, let's do a different one. <laughs> oh, here we go. This one that's actually relevant. Best times to post on social media. Brilliant, brilliant, absolutely. In fact, you know what? I should just leave it like that. Uh, I'm going to just expand this a little bit. Uh, control plus if you're on a PC to expand your screen or zoom in. Oh, look at that. I don't even need to do anything. This is so cool. Yay. So then all I get rid of that and obviously just mask it or sorry, not mask, uh, change it to your own site. So in my case, I just go jamie g.com, boom chocolate. No, not question mark. It is a legit site. Oh, apparently I can't type today. So there you go. That's my infographic done. Nice and easy. But anyway, I was going to show you how to uh, edit some of these things. So say, for example, we want to add some more social stuff in here or we want to change the font. Uh, changing the font is really easy. Just come up here, uh, document fonts. But then you've got these other ones. You can upload your own as well, which is really cool. You play around with the size, uh, font size, the font color. So I can just change that to anything I want. Or if you've got a... Uh, what do I call it, a hex code, whatever it's called there. Let's go just F, I don't know, for argument's sake. I don't know why I'd want it purely white because that's going to make it awkward. So now I can't even see it. <laughs> it's gone. It doesn't even like it. There you go. I'm going to get rid of that. What's this one? Let's try that. There we go. Cool. Best time to post on social. I think it's just disappeared. It's like blended with the background. Now the software doesn't even know that it's there. So where are we? That's cool. Okay. So uh, control Z to go backwards nice and easy. All righty. What are we going to do? Let's change a, uh, change a color to something else. Let's go purple. I like that color. Wow, look at that. Now I've made it my own. Brilliant. Let's get rid of that. Let's change that to purple. Change that to purple as well. And like I say, if you do mess something up, uh, you know, really straightforward. You can just um, drag and drop and, uh, you know, put it in the middle there. Now, the other thing you can do, and this is what I think is really cool, is hypothetically, if I wanted to really brand it as my own, you can actually just upload your own images. So there's all my goofy little faces. It's the latest one that I created the other day. And uh, I might even do another uh, video on, oh, oops, oops, I put that there already. Look at my goofy little face. <laughs> Best time to post on social media. I look kind of grumpy there. I don't know why. 
I'm not actually. I'm not even a grumpy person either. That's kind of the ironic thing. Uh, right. Okay. Put that like that. Da, 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 da. Yep. Cool, cool, cool. And then we can just chuck that wherever we want. So say, for example, I wanted to put that right at the edge there, which then co coincides with that. Bang. Look at that. And just drop it down there nice and easy. Looks like I'm poking out of the corner. I can then uh, move that over a little bit. Easy. And obviously it's out of kilter a little bit now, but it doesn't really matter. It's just for the sake of argument. Now here's where it gets really cool. You can come along here with this other guy, also me. And again, I'm not really going to align anything properly, but you can flip it right round. Check this out. Bang, what's up? So then, uh, you know, that might be your, your social media thing. Now you've got a card. So then it um, gets even better because once you've finished doing your edits and whatnot, and like I say, you can completely do all this from scratch this is just a, a rough example just to give you guys a bit of a run through you can either download it directly as a, a png file jpeg whatever you want or even a pdf uh you can also create a, a presentation out of this as well uh you can add it to your social media you can add it to a facebook group you can schedule it now it's a new one that's come out but you can schedule it as well i think that is amazing so what it means is imagine if you uh smash out maybe i don't know you spend half an hour on a sunday night and you do uh, maybe one or two of these per day. So you just replicate this and, and use some of the templates that you saw before. You can then schedule that on your social media. So it'll pump that out onto say your Pinterest or your Facebook or your Twitter account uh, every, I don't know, whatever you set, maybe twice a day, something like that. Uh, WeChat, business cards, Tumblr, you, know, you name it, there's an option there for you. Um, they are coming up with something cool, which is you can actually create an entire website out of this. That's a, a new thing. I haven't really played around with that, but um, uh, again, pretty damn cool if you ask me. Alrighty, so the other thing I'm just going to show you really quick is you can add elements, uh, and obviously my goofy little photo there is one element, but you can also add other ones. So uh, you can add a free photo. You can add social media stuff. Uh, what else? Graphics. There we go. That's Well, that was graphics at the top, as you can see. But given that we're going with social media, I might as well just have a look at that and see if I can put something there. Uh, let's go social media. Why not? Social media. Now, the way Canva is monetized is you can either have the monthly subscription or, or annual, which is uh, what I've got. Uh, but you can also you also find that every now and then you will have to buy some stuff. Um, and it's usually pretty cheap. You might just have a, an interesting graphic. And don't get me wrong, there's a whole bunch there that are free. You don't necessarily need to buy these. They're not exactly going to break the bank either, I might add. Um, and you also noted, might have noticed this little option up here uh, to click on free only if you don't want to pay anything ever. And the nice people at Canva will give it to you all for free. And there you go in the background there. All righty. Man, that's going to be a, an antique soon, isn't it? Google Plus is uh, on its way out. All righties. So now what do we do? Let's check in uh, Mr. Tumblr over here. Not that this is even really relevant because I don't think this actually speaks about Tumblr at all, but you get the point. The whole idea was to show you how it's done. We can chuck that up there right at the top. Make it completely out of place, but doesn't matter. No worries. Right, and we can do all sorts of stuff. We can flip that, tilt that like that, just the same as these other uh, symbols here. We can uh, flip it around, although I don't know why you'd bother, but yep, that looks almost like the Facebook symbol. Tilt that back. Um, yeah, we can change the colors, do whatever you want. So anyway, that is Canva. That is uh, something that I use every single day in my business and uh, something that I do suggest you have a look into because you'll find yourself, uh, you'll be able to save a lot of cash to start with, but the other thing is that you, you start to learn a little bit about design and what looks good, what looks crap, and uh, get a bit of an idea as to how this ties together and uh, probably save yourself a whole bunch of money in terms of uh, hiring a graphic designer as well. Sorry if I put out all you graphic designers out of jobs now. <laughs> anyway, that's all I wanted to go through. Thank you so much for joining me. My name is Jamie G. If you did get any value out of this, feel free to hit the like button and welcome to subscribe for more of these types of videos. Thanks so much, guys. I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.